Hello friends, Alison Ramirez here, Christian author, editor, and content creator here today to give you some tips about cover designs for your books. Uh, I have my bookshelf behind me with all sorts of different genres and colors and style guides and I'm just sharing from my personal experience. So I'm just sharing with you what I have learned these past three years uh, as a self-published author uh, what other authors and cover designers have shared with me and specifically the model that I'm going to be using uh, is the redesign that I recently did with my very first self-published book. So a little bit of background, I have three books that I have currently self-published. Two are fiction books, part of a trilogy um, and then the very first book I ever published was this book here. I'll zoom in a little bit. This is, the genre is devotional journal. So what that means is that this is a prayer resource. So it's um, a book to help uh, others deepen their prayer life. And it's also a journal because throughout the book there is, uh, let's see if I can find an example. Like right here, there's little places where there's questions where you can write uh, your thoughts in the book. So that's why, here's another spot. So devotional journal resource and specifically this is on the joyful mysteries of the rosary so there's lots of books out on the market currently about the rosary a beautiful form of prayer um, growing closer specifically to Jesus and to his mother Mary through meditating on different Bible stories throughout scripture and so I hadn't really seen books that only focused on certain mysteries of the rosary so if you're not familiar with this form of prayer there are four sets of mysteries and when i say that mysteries i mean four sets of various bible stories that you can reflect and meditate on as you're praying the hail mary prayers of the rosary and so this very first book i just focus on the joyful mysteries and the theme that i interwove throughout the book was all about how to find um, peace and calm and tranquility uh, in one's heart and in one's life when reflecting on these mysteries. So you can see this very first cover I have. Um, I absolutely love the blue of this cover. When I got this cover designed, I just paid someone like $70, I think on Pfeiffer. I didn't see a portfolio from them. And there's a few things that could have been improved. For example, it's all caps right here in the font and it's a little bit um, not overly well blended, the words. And then also at the bottom, um, this is when I had my um, married and maiden name together hyphenated, which I legally ended up changing to just my married name. So I got that updated on the new cover. Um, and then you can also tell this beautiful picture of lily flowers, which are often um, depicted with Jesus' mother Mary. It's not quite as well blended as I would have liked at the bottom. And then I also realized that I wanted this to eventually become a series. So this is going to be a four book um, series, each book focusing on a certain theme with one set of mysteries of the rosary so right now i'm currently working on book two which is out for pre-order right now it's called gather together the luminous mysteries of the rosary as invitations to intimacy or community or fellowship with those around you i'll place a picture of the of the cover um, as well for you guys to see but this is the redesign so a couple things that are different that you're going to see First of all, this first cover had nothing, there was nothing on it that let you know that it had to do with the rosary. So when you're working on covers, um, you want to make sure that the genre or the theme of the book is evident, right? If you're writing like a thriller, you want a sense of like mystery to come through in the cover. You know, if you're writing something that's like whimsical and fun, you want to be able to show that with the colors and the styles. Um, that you're, that you're being used on the cover. So this is about a rosary, um, this book. And so uh, in the redesign, you actually can see there's a rosary going across the top and then there's the main cross actually got incorporated into the title. Then the rosary continues on the bottom. 
Um, there's a lot of really good blending happening here. I wanted like just um, white and blue are typically colors of Mary. Um, so that was incorporated in there. Um, then you can see this like little emblem is also carrying through um, throughout the cover. So these were some uh, improvements and some changes that were made based on the first cover. Again, not that I didn't like the first cover, but this um, theme, this style actually continues with this rosary going across the top and the bottom. It's gonna continue on all four books in this series, which will be really fun. Once they all come out, you can line them up together and it'll be like one big rosary throughout all the books. So especially if you're writing a series, you want all your covers to match you know, you want the, the spines to match the same style. The, oops, had that upside down. The backs to match, the fronts to match. Um, and you want your readers to be able to tell that the books are part of a series. Also, a couple other tips with cover design that is really important to keep in mind is um, have a professional who's really helping you out. Um, with your covers if you if you don't have any background. Um, I'm going to link my cover designer below, Benita Thompson with um, Kairos Book Design. She does an amazing job. She also works a lot with Christian uh, writers. She's very affordable. She really helps to bring your vision to life. Um, and she has helped me with my fiction covers. Uh, and then I actually had an author friend who is also a cover designer helped me with the redesign for um, from this cover and it was the first one to this one uh, was the second cover. So again, cover is cover design is so important and it's and cover design trends are constantly updating and changing. So you know it doesn't um, definitely doesn't hurt if you have a, like a book that's been out for like say ten years, um, a way to really even re-energize the book and get um, potentially new readers. Uh, don't be afraid to have the cover redesigned um, or rebranded at some point along the way. Obviously, you don't want to do that every single year, but, you know, as time goes on, whatever your current cover is for your book may not necessarily be fitting with the types of covers that are currently on the market, currently um, being published. And so that's something to keep in mind um, is to make sure that your cover designer is up on those trends and specifically designs covers with the kind of books that you're writing because there's a lot of different genres also there's a lot of different types of artists just because somebody is an illustrator or a graphic designer doesn't necessarily mean that they know how to create good book covers so it's important to do your research look at people's portfolios ask them about their experiences and definitely give them as much information as you can about your book you can tell them um, give them the book synopsis, what is your book about, tell them about some of your main characters, tell them about the setting of the world that you're building, um, if there's different color schemes or different fonts that you like or things that you don't like. Also send in your cover designer covers that you like that are maybe similar to the kind of cover that you're looking at for your book would also really help your cover designer out. Because this is the first time that your readers are really going to see um, uh, your book is, is through the cover, especially in those early days when you're first um, getting the hype up about the book or marketing the book. You really want to have a strong cover that draws people in. And so hopefully this video was helpful to you. Uh, I'd love to hear what you're writing about um, and your cover design experience. Um, and thanks for tuning in today. I know that you're in my prayers and best of luck as you write and get your covers prepared for your books.